what is prepared to receive the ministry of Christ's law by confessing your sins and asking for pardon and strength? Our service this morning is divine service 74 from the page 203. Please rise. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who may have never You, O Lord, kept the record of sins, O Lord, who could stand? But as you have given your gifts, therefore you are here. Since we are gathered to hear God's word, call upon him in prayer and praise, and receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ in the fellowship of this altar. Let us first consider our worthiness and confess before God and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, that we cannot free ourselves from our sinful condition. Together, as his people, let us take refuge in the infinite mercy of God our Heavenly Father, seeking his grace for the sake of Christ, and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Almighty God, in his mercy, has given his Son to die for you, and for his sake forgives you all your sins. So call an ordained servant of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The 25th Psalm, Psalm 25. <clears throat> To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies be clothed over me. Indeed, none who wait for you shall be put to shame. They shall be ashamed for a want of the treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O oh Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach it, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. Remember your mercy, O Lord, and your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth and my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord and his steadfast love have been made.
The Old Testament reading for the first Sunday of Lent is taken from the book of Genesis in the 22nd chapter, beginning with the first verse. After these things, God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here am I. He said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love. Go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, of which I shall tell you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, took two of his young men with him, and his son Isaac. They cut the wood for the burnt offering, and rose and went to the place of which God had told him. On the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place from afar. Then Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey, and I and the boy will go over there and worship, and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering, and laid it on Isaac his son, and he took in his hand the fire and the knife. So they went, both of them together. And Isaac said to his father Abraham, My father, and he said, Here am I, my son. He said, Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. So they both went over them together. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built the altar there and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. He said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you are fear God, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him was a ram, caught in the thicket by his thorns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called the name of that place, the Lord will provide. As it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham the second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, declares the Lord, because you have done this, not withheld your son, your only son. I will surely bless you, and I will surely multiply your offspring as the stars of the heavens, as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in your offspring shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. This is the word of the Lord. The epistle reading is taken from St. James' epistle, the first chapter, beginning with the 12th verse. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire, when it is conceived, gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise and read the word. Gospel according to St. Mark, first chapter, beginning with the ninth verse. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens opening and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness forty days, being tempted by Satan. He was with the wild beasts. The angels were ministering to him. After John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, I believe one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. 
and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of His Father before all worlds, God of God, life of life, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us sin and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under conscious Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the Scriptures, and ascended to heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory, to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. God, the name of the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who puts each of the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who is spoke by the prophets. I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. I invite you to turn to our hymn of the day, hymn number 656. We will sing, uh, Doug will play through one stanza, then we will read two stanzas, and then we will another stanza, and then we will read two stanzas, and then we will play the final stanza. <laughs> Though these all be gone, 
a victory has been won. The kingdom has remained. Foot. I am your Lord and your God, and I will save you. 
that you might believe this all the more and resist the devil firm in your faith. I lay my body and blood on the altar for you, so that receiving me you might take your stand against him in me. So I have overcome him in the loneliness of the wilderness with the wild animals. I have overcome him on the forsakenness of the cross, surrounded by a pack of wild dogs. I have overcome him for you, so that you might overcome him in me. The Spirit drove me out into the wilderness to fast alone, that you might be welcomed here to the feast with me and the whole company of heaven. As the Almighty Son of God, I was so weak that I needed the angels to minister to me, so that angels and archangels could minister to you here, alone out in the wilderness. Yes, that's where Jesus went for you, beloved. He went out there to fast for all the times that you have overindulged. He went out there to know fear and anxiety for all the times that you failed to trust and let God be God. He went out in there and was tempted by Satan and resisted him for all the times that you have given in and believed his lies. He went out there to get right what you get wrong. He went out there to do what you don't and to be what you are not, so that he could stand in for you before God. Alone out in the wilderness, he did it all right for you. Alone up on the cross, he paid for all that you've done wrong. He did it all alone, beloved, so that you could be forgiven and be with him now and forever. Now may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus, to life everlasting.
all glory to the Spirit, forever three in one. For as in the beginning, is now shall ever be, God's trying to make me something through all eternity. Let us pray. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, you have given us a foretaste of the peace to come, and the holy supper of your Son's body and blood. Keep us firm in the true faith throughout our days of pilgrimage. On the day of his coming, we may together with all your saints celebrate the marriage feast of the Lamb in his kingdom which has no end. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Okay. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen.